Hello, and welcome to What's Bubbling is in... I am Dr. Abstract, and in this bubbling, it's, uh, it's very cool. We've got a shape tween. So yay, it's, it's been officially put into Zim Animate. We can animate from one blob to another, or one squiggle to another. Well, let's take a look. We are going to go to the Zim site at zimjs.com. We'll press on the docs here and click in the updates. So this is where you can find any of the updates for Zim. And here's Zim 10.2. We did a bubbling on Zimon, so there's Zimon, a bit about that. And as you can see here, we've got a shape tween. Not only that, but we've got blob basic shapes as well. So now we can pass in. When we make a blob, we can pass in for the points a value of circle, rectangle, or triangle, or indeed any Zim circle, rectangle, and triangle that has uh, dimensions. And then we can uh, match those dimensions and match that shape with a blob. So that's pretty cool. That allows us to animate along a path, uh, animate along a rectangle more easily than having to sort of customize our blob manually. Very cool, and here's the shape tween link right here. So let's go there now. We've already got it up. Animate a shape tween. Oh, I should refresh here. So refresh, boing, 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 and uh, boing. So we've got a few things going on here. One is this big shape tween of two custom blobs. So there's a custom blob tweening to a heart blob along with a color tween in there. We've got this side as well, which is a circle that's changing to a custom blob, to a square, to a flattened rectangle, and to a triangle as it goes. And then we've got this pretty nifty arrangement here where we make some changes and we hit the reset and they uh, animate back. Isn't that cool? So this is a squiggle animating back to its original squiggle. Um, so resets of, of things like that, but an animated version can now be done because we have shape tween right in animate and it's darn easy to do. So let's see how darn easy it is to do. Uh, here's the animate shape tween example. Uh, the source for that, we're using 10.2. We're coming on down and there's the telephone, but we'll ignore the hotline. <laughs> Here we have one blob that's a heart, and that's what we're going to tween to. We grab these points, by the way, these points look, I mean, we don't have to code those. We went to zimjs.com slash neo slash paths. Remember that? That's pizzazz four, and got the shape heart, or the heart shape there. Uh, you can also make a blob yourself, move it around and hit the record and uh, get these points. So we would never have to type those in. Here's the hourglass, the same deal. We went to there to get that. That only takes a moment to do once you know that URL, and you can do it yourself as well. So we've got our two different blobs, and now we're going to animate. We've got the animate uh, on this blob right here, so it's chained onto that blob, and we're saying animate the props shape heart, and that will then animate to the heart. We're also animating the color and the, and the same time as well to the color of the heart. In this time, we're rewinding, we're looping, and we're doing the elastic in out. Remember, don't forget your easing, you guys. When you're when you're making these things, if you just keep the quad, which is the default, uh, that's okay. It works in many cases, but you can uh, just, for instance, this example, it was on quad, and it looks all right. It's cool. Oh, wow, it's shape tweening. But the, the easing just gives it that extra bit of punch. You see that elastic in there? Twang! You know, it feels more alive, more professional. So uh, don't forget to play with that and make sure that you're getting the most out of your animations. So here we are, shape tween from one squiggle to another. So we've created a start squiggle, just your default start squiggle. We've created of the squiggle that we're going to animate here. So uh, we didn't let the user edit points and we um, didn't let them uh, toggle because we liked showing the points. But that, that stuff is all optional as well in there. One thing about the points, you've just got to be a bit careful. At the moment, may change in the future, but at the moment, the blobs have to have the same number of points. And so we've got an example down below where we um, show how you can adjust to, to make that happen. So if we let the user add points, we would have to make sure that we added points to the 
the start squiggle in some way to match that. So we didn't let them add points and that makes it easier. And then we, uh, when we've got a reset, so there's the reset button right there. And when we tap the reset button, we're saying squiggle.animate back to the start squiggle. We also decided to let them drag it if we didn't. Um, if we didn't let them drag it up here, we could say move colon false and they wouldn't be able to drag that to somewhere. But if they do drag it, then not only do we have to animate the shape back, but the X and Y of the squiggle back as well. Shall we see that one more time? If I pick this whole thing up and, and drag it over here like that and reset, it's got to put it in position as well as change the shape. So that's what's going on there. The last bit here, the blob points parameter shape values. So we go through that and there's a whole bunch of, this looks more complicated than it is. This is quite simple to do, but we've got four different ones and we're animating and changing them. And not only that, as we animate up and down, we're actually animating the change of the shape halfway through that or partway through that which means that there, we have, you know, some arrangements need to be made. So here's our, our squash squiggle. We went and went out to uh, that Zimneo site and made a squashed squiggle uh, in no problem uh, in, in just, you know, a moment or two. Here's a box, which is a bl new blob with the points of rectangle. That will make a default rectangle blob. Cool, huh? And here is a rectangle that has been flattened, but that is center regged. So all these things end up getting center regged. And when it bounces, we wanted this flattened thing to actually move down a bit. So we've transformed the points 30 pixels down. Okay. And then there's a new triangle being made, a new blob in the shape of a triangle. So the triangle has a different number of points. We are then saying, uh, oh, the points, you, if you want to unshift something into a points array, the points array is a getter setter method. So it doesn't quite work the same way as a normal array. You need to store the array, make a change to it, and then set the array back into points. So there you go. Here is a series of shapes that we're going to squash to. Here is the blob. This is the ball that we're making. It's got a radius of 50, interactive false. And we haven't made it a circle yet because we have to, when we animate this ball, it's gonna end up staying on the triangle. So when we restart it, we're gonna to have to change the shape of that triangle back into the circle. So we put the, we put the, the points command to make it a circle in here. And note that that can be done. Here is, uh, we could put the points up here and say it's a circle, but we can also set the points property as a circle or a, a new circle or you know any new points as well. There we go. You'll have to come in and take a look through this. I don't want to go through all of the nuances of this, but there's the, where's, this is the animation going up and down. Oh, transfer uh, the ball. We transform the points. That's kind of important. The ball has a normal circle blob, has points at the top, right, bottom, and left, and like the blobs have always had. But the rectangles are sort of top left, top right, top, uh, bottom right, bottom left. So that means uh, you would see it turn, if we, if we shape tweened, you would see it turn to match that rectangle. So if you don't want it to turn to match a rectangle, what we're doing here is rotating the circle minus 45 degrees, and that puts the top over at the top left. And then it tweens nicely from a circle to a rectangle. Do you want to see that again? Maybe what we can do is I'll show you it here. We'll refresh. Oh, this is not a local version. So let's pull up a local version here. Open a browser. And we'll reduce that a little bit so I can think. Oh, uh, 12, reduce that a little bit. Now watch how this goes. There's the circle. Now watch as it goes to a square. You see how it's nice and lined with those squares and rectangles? If we remove the transformation here, which we can do like so, we'll comment out the, the transform. So now it's not going 45 degrees and come back and refresh here. Circle to that and watch. You see how you're get, getting that twist going on? 
uh, on all of them, as a matter of fact. And that's because the others were sort of also set up to work with the circle being twisted. So anyway, some nuances in there, but uh, there's always been nuances with shape trains. I don't know if you remember back in the flash days, you know, having to take little pointers to say which point's going to tween to which and that kind of stuff. We may get there in the end. There's some plans to um, more automate uh, adding points to existing squiggles and blobs without changing the shape, that type of thing. So that's that's in the works for Zim 10.3, 10.4, that kind of thing. Uh, but for now, um, you can rotate uh, things. Also, when you do the shape tween, there is a parameter. Do we have it here? I don't think we do. Let me scroll go. There is another parameter along with shape. It was something like blob shift or something like that. I think it was blob shift. And if you say blob shift two, then it will tween to uh, shifted um, points to two shifted by two or negative two shift the other way. So uh, have a read over the docs there. And I think that's it then, isn't it, for the shape tweens? But isn't that amazing? And I really like the, the idea of tweening back to the original like that. that. That looks really cool. And again, that one, did you see it? how it has the ease on it? Hoodoo. It's got the back, so it's going forward and coming back, and that just makes it look a little bit cooler. I am Dr. Abstract for what's bubbling is in If uh, If you like all this and want to try some shape tweens and have any questions about it or you want to show us your work, come on in to zimjs.com slash slack and hang out with us. Ciao. Have a great day or night. Bye.